Welcome back everyone, welcome back to our everyday living. Oh look at that, I got a machine finished. Um, but anyway, talking about machines, I'm in the process of fixing this one up. It's got a bit of a water problem. I've already taken the top off, unscrewed, but as you can notice, she's a bit rusty. So I ordered the part, thought I'd wait, show you how to actually replace this. New clamps and all, totally different clamps though. Um, I didn't have to buy the clamps, I just bought the uh, solenoid and that sort of thing. You right there, Daddy? Hey, mate? You're cold. You're cold. I thought you might be. Yeah, yeah. What? So, yeah, got the replacement right here. Funny how they pack this one, a big package for a little item like that. But anyway, we'll get to and pull this one out. No power's plugged into it, which is good. We didn't have to worry about trying to test it. I usually take the tops off and take the backs off to see if you know, there's been any water coming through or anything like that before I even worry about plugging them in. Now, I probably won't need to clean these terminals. And they should be okay. That's just destroyed. Wow. Totally destroyed. They usually just pull off like the other one did. This one's a bit stuck. Right, I'll take that one off there too to give us a bit of leeway. Oh, there's a clip there. Press the clip down. Clip up, clip down, whichever. That one's doing the same. There is a clip in there that you should be able to press or something. I've never come across this problem before. They usually just pop off. So I'm just gonna force it off. There we go. That, that one. It's not broken. Yeah, I'll bit of, put a bit of spray up that, clean it up. Ah, what do we need? What do we need? We need this tool here to undo the back. We don't need the screwdriver bit. Thought I might have. Undo it here. Ooh, that's a bit rusty, but we'll have to reuse it because I didn't get another one with the pack, I don't think. No. Oh, I've got to change the bracket. Okay, that's an indicator. Yeah, you've got to change the rusty old bracket. I didn't get a bracket. That bracket is all as one. Glad I undone the whole thing. Yeah. That just slots into that. Because I haven't had this apart, you can see all the crud and moisture there. I um, did plug it in, then I come back the following morning and there was water everywhere. So I thought, no, I'll just have a look. Order the part. Mm. Not gonna come off. We may have to take that off there to actually get that one off but that's definitely rusted out in the top she's definitely no good replace that clamp mm. that clamp looks all right though but i'll replace it anyway same as that one take that one off i'll have to go over to the a vice i reckon oh dear 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 No, I'm winning. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. We're winning. There we go. I don't need to undo that clip. And put that one back on. So you just never know what you're going to need. Bit of brute strength there. Put that back onto that. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's all right. Now we've got to try and get these off. Now the easiest way actually get the hoses off these because they've been on there for so long grab a pair of pliers give it a twist give them both a twist it breaks the seal because they've been on there for so long and then all i ever do always do so I grab the very tip of it where the tip of the um solenoid is just pull it off it doesn't hurt it, it doesn't hurt the hose it doesn't break it or look at that Egg presser cuts in again. 
I always forget about that. You can, can you get that please, Dale? Sit that over there. Can you get the compressor, please? Right, this one here, brand new part. Sit the old beggar up there, thank you. We better replace those clamps, they look a bit daggy. Up here. Yeah, I forgot about that earlier. I forgot about what you had in your hand earlier. Place those with some different ones. Some common ones that usually are on washing machines. They look like they're fuel, fuel line clamps. That'll go onto there. Looks a lot cleaner for when someone else comes into this machine. If someone looks at it. But I very much doubt it. This onto here. That certainly looks a lot better. That onto that. Just a short video for you all today to um, show you how to actually do these ones. This is, um, what brand's that? What brand are we here? LG. Samsung? Oh, LG. LG, okay. Well, listen, LG, what, what, what size, please? Give me some more details. <laughs> I'm putting June on the spot here. What's the model? You can't tell the model, can you? No, you can't. I can't but I can. I can. Model is WV5148W. That's the model. So if you do have a problem with these ones, um, the 8kg direct drive LG, and you have a problem like I've got right here, where it's actually totally ruined, look at that. <laughs> That's shocking, isn't it? Now I come back in the next morning, she was leaking all over the floor, all over the ground. Wasn't going, no power plugged into it. Um, I need a bit of spray for that, please. WD, bit of lube on the bench, please. Get some onto that too, but it'll stop it from corroding more too. WD. Get that pressed into that. Mm. I need some um, um, multi grips. Plus, I couldn't think of the word. Over on the bench. Thank you. My bench. That should be heaps. Put that there. Finish with that. Don't need much on them. The silver ones. Yep. Put that onto that. That onto that. That one onto that. That's the ones. Hope they open up wide enough. Press it in there. Oh, I might need the bigger ones. Are yeah, they working? They're not the best, but they'll work. <sighs> Square it up. That's that one. And it's just a matter of screwing them all back together. That looks clean that side, clean that side. Pop it in the holes. What, Daddy? Hey? Go in the hole, go in the hole, go in the hole. I got it there. It's amazing how only one screw holds that. Mm -hmm. I say it's amazing how one screw just holds that. That to there. That into that. Not too tight. And that's as that. So that was a quick and simple one for you all. Um, I will test it once I get these out of the road. Actually test it. I could probably put it in. I've got an extra line down here. Just means I've got to do all my plumbing here for my test station to get another drain hose going. 
so anyway just a short one fixing that um there's hoses in the front here i think yep. yeah there's hoses there so i'll get that into the test line i've got a few more to fix and um yeah we're slowly plugging along june's been over in the shed and um cutting ends oh you finished those yeah, you can have a look. all right we'll go and have a look oh my god she's been cutting plug ends on off these uh received the delivery last night on cords and whatnot computers and june's been in here i've been i put this shed together so i could do a bit of sandblasting um that was full and there's the plug ends so anyway that's that and these are the computers we picked up there's a fair few here I did turn a couple of these laptops on. They're all they're school ones, so they're password protected and that sort of thing. But I'll go through, uh, take the hard drives out and destroy the hard drives because the hard drives have got cast aluminium um, and a little circuit board anyway. So that destroys the hard drive. I don't need to do anything else with the hard drive. Um, we've even got uh, video outputs and inputs they're a splitter so you can have two screens we've got three of those we've got screens all the all the desktops and that sort of thing so yeah we've got to get to and do another run of these wasn't expecting to be picking them up but it filled the old little jumbuck completely full i was domed over and we've got a whole heap of washing machines and dishwashers to strip apart too so anyway on this one hope you've enjoyed tagging along me on it with it june and i on this one and if you've come this far don't forget to like and subscribe and if you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you get notified when we put a new video out the videos are getting shorter because we just haven't got much in the way of doing things around here like um all i can do is you know show you how i'm fixing washing machines and that sort of thing um i'm trying to get around to doing an upgrade on our stripper wire stripper we did purchase one more well, months ago wasn't it yes uh, wire stripper we we purchased one yeah a, a new one months and months ago yeah. um uh, so I'm just trying to do a bit of an upgrade on that so we can see what we're doing with it and that sort of thing. So anyway, till next time everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!